Welcome to this tutorial on creating interactive digital timeline using Tiki Talkie. Open your web browser and search for Tiki Talkie. You see several results. Click on the first link. You are on the Tiki Talkie website. Let's create an account first. Click on sign up for free. Select a username. For the purpose of demonstration, I will select VPS2024 as my username. Then create a strong password. For the purpose of demonstration, I will enter VPS123 as the password. You can always change your password later. Enter your email address. Enter your age. Leave the class code blank. Agree to the terms and conditions and sign up for a free account. Next, let's create a new timeline. Let's name our timeline Nationalism in India. Every timeline has a starting date and an ending date. Click on the calendar icon to select the starting date. Change the year to 1909 to begin your timeline. Then click on the second calendar and choose the end date. Make it 1950. That's the year India became a republic, isn't it? Once you have set the start date and end date, click on the create timeline button. This is the Tiki Talkie interface to create the timeline. In the admin panel of your new timeline, you see several sections. First, let's create two categories to organize your events. Click on the categories button and then on create a new category. Give it the name H1 and leave the color as is. Then create one more category. Name it H2 and give it a different color. I'll choose this color. Now save your work. Now let's go to the setting tab. Here you can further customize the appearance and properties of your timeline. You can adjust the title, description and add background image to your timeline. Take some time to explore the various settings and choose the options that best fit your needs. In the settings section, the default spacing and view type are set to standard. To customize this further, under the spacing option, select equal spacing 1. And for the view type, choose category bands. Can you see the changes reflected in the blank timeline now? You should see two colored bands labeled H1 and H2. It's time to start adding stories to the timeline. Click on the Stories tab and then click Create New Story. Give the story a title. Let's call it Hind Swaraj. Then click on the calendar and choose the year 1909 for both the start and end years. In the introduction section, Type in or copy paste the information about Hind Swaraj. The H1 category should already be selected by default. Leave that as is. Save your work without fail. Next, click on the media tab and then add new media. Open a new browser tab and go to images.google.com. Search for Hind Swaraj and select one of the relevant images. I have already done the preparation. Right click on the image and copy the image link address. Go back to the Tiki Talkie tab, paste the link into the media section and save your work. Now let's add another story. Click create new story again. This time give it the title Jalian Wala Bagh Massacre. Choose the year 1919 
the year when the incident took place. Choose the date April 13. Enter the description. I will paste the description here. Select the H2 category and save the story. Can you see two events now with the titles displayed on the corresponding colored bands? It's starting to look good. Next, let's add a video to the Jallianwala Bagh massacre story. Click on the edit option against the story of Jallianwala Bagh. Click on the media tab again and this time select video. Go to youtube.com, search for Jallianwala Bagh massacre and copy the link of the video you want to use. Since I have already selected one, I take the link and paste that link into the media section in Tiki Talkie and save the work. Does the timeline look even more impressive with the added video? Excellent. Remember to continue to alternating between H1 and H2 categories as you add more stories to your timeline. This is the basic process of creating an interactive digital timeline using Tiki Talkie. In the 3D view, your timeline will look even more visually engaging. Don't forget to save your work regularly. All the best with building out your timeline.